that knows exactly why Brian was murdered. And that's the person who pulled the trigger. Tonight, this local family still searching for answers exactly four years after their son was murdered. What they're telling us, us about the hunt for a suspect. So it has been four years since Brian Spaulding was shot and killed in the home where he rented a room in Northeast Portland. As his family continues to wait for answers, the reward for information leading to an arrest has grown to more than $20,000. Our Jennifer Dowling spoke with Brian's parents and has their long quest for justice. I did, and it's been an agonizing few years for the Spalding family in that wait for answers. They tell us that they're hoping that if they keep the memory of Brian alive, that perhaps someone will come forward with more information. He and his friends also like to uh, dabble in uh, home brewing. George Spalding showed us pictures of happy time spent with his son Brian. The 36-year-old liked playing in a band and brewing his own beer. Well, we'd like to smile that he had on there because he was having fun. He also hosted a podcast with friends. The picture on George's button and the image on his shirt showing Brian in action. Microphone here and he's got his headphones on. George says Brian also worked as a massage therapist and assistant at a chiropractic office in Salwood. His co-workers were the first to sound the alarm when he didn't show up for work on June 12, 2017. They called Brian's family. Got in the car and drove over. It's only about a 15 minute drive from here. Um, to where he was renting a room and a house over on Northeast 10th. Tragically, he was the one to find his son dead. We went into the house and found him shot to death. Worst day of my life. Somebody should be accountable for this. I mean, um, he was an easygoing guy. He was uh, living a simple life as a bachelor. He was much loved by family and friends. We miss him every day. Brian's mom, Carolyn, explained how she was managing so close to the anniversary of his death. Just one day at a time. George has a tattoo of Brian's signature phrase on his arm now, prove it, something his son always tossed around during conversations. The Spaldings are now hoping someone helps investigators prove who killed Brian, a mystery that's continued for four years too long. There's one person out there that knows exactly why Brian was murdered, and that's the person who pulled the trigger. And uh, it's reasonable to assume that there's at least one other person out there that knows that person and knows they did it or suspects that they did it. And in addition to the $20,000 privately funded reward for information leading to an arrest, there is another reward offered by Crime Stoppers of up to $2,500. And George also says if you want to provide a tip but remain anonymous, you can also do that through Crime Stoppers. Back to you, Dan. And sometimes, you know, all it takes is just the small tip to crack open a case. So if anybody knows anything, uh, please call Crime Stoppers. Help this family uh, with their pain. And as Jennifer was talking about, you can stay anonymous and still collect the reward. They have a system for that in place.